Hi guys, welcome back to this special series on building 7 use cases of machine learning on Android. My name is Ankur and let's begin. In the last video, we were finally able to see how image classification works and how easy it is to integrate MLK libraries provided by Google in our Android app. We just have to set up the Android app properly. Now in this video, we will try to see how to get the image from a camera. So it's easy when we have the photo already captured and in our phone and we can just pick it up and analyze it. But sometimes we have scenarios where we might have to capture the image. So in today's video, we will learn how the capture works in Android and how to code for it. And then finally, we will link it up with the same image classification use case. So let us begin. So first, a little bit of theory. So what we are trying to essentially do is we have our app called ML series demo and we are trying to tell the camera app to capture a photo and give it back to us. But the camera app will ask, where do you want to store this photo? Because the camera app cannot actually store all the photos in Android. Now, Android has made it mandatory that every app will have its own space and which that app will be responsible for to improve the privacy aspect. So now the capture intent or when we tell the camera that we want to capture an image and give, and give us back the image, the camera will expect a file from us where the camera can write the photo or the image data on. So we will create a folder in the external storage or the SD card and then we will create a file and then we will give it to the camera and tell, okay, this is the file. Use this to store the image that you are going to capture. So let's begin. So open up your studio if you're not there. So just to show how it works, actually, I have this ML series demonstrator app installed. So every app in Android has access to two types of storage. One is internal storage, which is very specific to the app. It's actually hidden from the user itself. If you have not rooted your phone, which comes under data, data and then your package name. So in my case, the package is com.iago.ml series demo. Uh, for you, it might be the package or the name that you have given. So this is the internal storage. I'm able to see it because this is an emulator. If it's an actual phone, this folder will not be visible. Correspondingly, the same app has one more folder allocated to it in which we can put our files. Now, this folder is on the SD card. So if you go to mount SD card, and then you go to Android folder. There is again one more data folder where again you will find a folder which will be which will be specific to your package name. So this is com example ML series demonstrator. And then you can see files and pictures, ML image helper, and this is the photo. So whenever I capture a photo, this is where the photo or the image is going to be stored. So this is where you want to look for if you want to capture or you want to share those images later. So let's begin. So the first thing that we need to do is go to image helper activity and uh, find this method on start camera. Now let us first write down what we want to do. We want to create a file. to share with camera and then create an intent and then again start activity for result. So these are the three steps that we will do just to get the file back. Reading the file is after that. So let us create a method where we will just create a file in the external storage that the user has already granted permission to us. So I'll just write a method create photo file. This will actually return us. Uh, this will actually return us a file object. Now there is one more thing with API level 24. So now we are on 3031 and our app supports from 21 and above. If you are on API 24 and above, you cannot just share any URI to another app. You need to grant in permissions also, and for that. First, we need to declare that we are going to use such folders in the external storage. So if you remember, we are going to create a pictures folder under the files, external files directory. 
so first we need to declare to android that we are going to use such folders in the xd card so how do we do that we first go to resource and uh, which is under the android pane res folder and then we create a directory android resource directory and the directory type is xml so just press ok ok so right click on xml new xml resource file file name is file provider and root element is uh, paths press ok the file is created now we are going to tell that we are going to create these kinds of folder in the external files path so name will be images and path is pictures so a folder path or the folder name under the files directory will be pictures so once this is done this is not enough we also need to link it up in the manifest okay so once you are in the manifest inside the application tag we will go we are going to add the provider tag so authorities is the unique pack file provider name that we are going to provide and name is android x core content file provider you should get most of them in autocomplete and then we are just going to add grant uri permission equal to true which means that when we share when we create a file in the sd card and share the uri to the camera app it will be able to write on that so this changes came in api 24 where we can't share a file we have to share the uri of a file and the URI, uri of the files are shared using the file provider so we also need to link up our provider that we have created so let me first close it and then we will add a metadata where the resource is xml slash file provider this is the xml file that we just created and then we also need to add a name Okay, so the name is android.support.file underscore provider underscore paths. So with this, our file provider is set up. We will be able to share a URI to the camera app and we will also be able to grant it write permission. So let us go back to image helper activity and uh, continue our method, create photo file. Okay, so file, photo file is equal to new file get external files directory now type as we know we have defined as pictures so it will be so it will be environment dot directory pictures so if you see this file constructor takes two things the parent the parent which is the directory and then a child this will be the child folder so we will just give it as ml image helper this will be the folder name that you are going to see so let us rename the variable to reflect it better so if the photo file directory exists so if it doesn't exist we will just create it so photo file directory dot mk dirs so it will just create all the paths till then if the folder is not existing it will come up and then now we create the actual file of the image so for to name the file we will use the date and time so i'll just create a i'll just use a simple date format class and uh, we will start with year month date and then the time okay hours is capital h so this will create a string with the current uh, year month uh, date and the time up to seconds then we are going to use the same name to create the file 
so the final file is equal to new file go to file dr dot get path okay plus the file dot separator plus file or the name of the file So our file has been created so you can see we are creating the photo file directory and we are creating the folders if they don't exist and then we are creating a file with the current year date month and time and then just adding it giving it the correct path and returning the file so we will actually store this file in a member variable so that it's easy to access once we get the callback back from the camera so we'll create a member variable photo file and uh, we will assign this to that okay so we have created the file and now we need to create the uri that we are going to pass to the camera app in the intent so uri equal to file uri is equal to file provider dot Sorry, you are right, file, you are right. Get your right for file, context is our activity. And then, and then the next parameter is the authority. So this is the same authority that we have defined in the XML. So if you go back to our manifest, go to the provider tag. So this is the authority that we have defined. So let us just copy paste that here. And then the final parameter is the photo file so our URI is ready now we need to create an intent so this is also a well-defined intent so this intent is actually provided by media store it says image capture and then we will add the same URI that we have created so intent dot put extra media store dot output so this is the output file and then our uri so file uri and then finally we start an activity so before we start an activity we will need a request code so let us change it to 1001 capture image so start activity for result intent request capture image so if you follow the path that the execution will take is once the button is clicked, we will come to on start camera. We will get the photo file, then we'll get the URI and then we'll start an intent or result, which means we will get a callback. So we can actually add an if condition here. So we can just log for now. Yes. So if you see the result, this is under result okay, which means only if the user selects, captures an image and selects it, we will come to this code. If he cancels, the press it will not come here the result will be cancelled so let us first run it once and see if this is working and then we will use the file in the next step to do the image classification okay so it's running now let's start the camera so if you want to move the camera around you can press w so you can hold down the alt button and then 
as you do while playing games you can use the WSAD to move the camera so let us capture this photo now if I press tick here the callback goes back to our code and you can see the log has been printed received callback from camera so our file is getting created and we are, we are also getting a callback from the camera so let's do the processing okay so we have seen that the callback is working from the camera and we are able to launch it and get the image and uh, now if I see the file explorer so yeah mount SD card Android data this is the app that I am currently making so files pictures this is the child part that we gave child folder that we gave ML image helper and these are the images that we have captured so we can see that the images are getting captured and now we just have to use them so if you remember from the pic image the steps were to create the bitmap and then set it to the image view and then run classification on top of it so we are going to do the same so let's create the bitmap using bitmap factory dot decode file so we already have the file so photo file dot get absolute path so it actually takes the path of the file and not the file object itself and then everything is same so i'm just going to copy paste these two commands and let's run it so go to image activity start camera and take photo select it and you can see the image classification is now running through the camera now sometimes in if you have a phone which has very heavy pixel like 32 megapixel or 48 megapixel you might have to downgrade your file to a smaller resolution before you can use it in your app so do check out the complete project that is ml series demonstrator which is on my github the link is in the description it has all the code required to check whether the photo is huge and which cannot be loaded in memory or even if you have rotated your camera while you were capturing the photo the code is the code will be able to handle the so handle those scenarios and rotate the picture before we analyze it likewise if you want to learn android using kotlin which is the recommended language now for android development i have a free detailed course on my own youtube channel please do check it out the link is in the description so in the next video we will use the same image helper activity that we have created to do some flower identification see you then